One sec, I'm doing the intro. Welcome back. Obviously, you loved episode one. You're back here for episode two. We're looking at week three in the men's fantasy football league. I'm your host, Willie Mo, aka Mo Buckets, aka the obese vegetarian, aka your mom's best friend. And we're back on the commissioner's corner, bringing you the commish, Connor Helbig. So, great news. Today, we've got a special guest. Originally, we had Frank supposed to be on the show. We ended up just getting someone who is way more controversial. I'm talking about the leader of the scrubs, the legend, Tom Flores. Tom, come on out. Come join us. Oh, there he is. Whoa. Welcome to the show, Tom. Horrible seeing you. Feeling is mutual. So my team was once again disappointing. To everyone's surprise, Will pulled off the shocking upset. Really, I'm losing hope in my team. Are you in full panic mode yet? Damn near. Julio Jones is injured now. I, this is news to me. You're turning into a commissioner instead of an owner. You're yeah, I can really focus my attention completely in on the commissioner side of things. I can pretty much give up on my team. Stop worrying about that. Also, Pimp with the Limp, you're welcome. You fleeced me. I hope you're happy. I will be shutting your team down within the hour. So enjoy it while it lasts. That's well, the we don't see of a trade rape right there. Tom, did you win week two? Each chip, Connor. I got two guys that scored more points than your whole damn team. You lost by one. I know. It hurt. Damn. Also, Dalton's team might be the best now. You saw the power rankings this week. You see them at number one. I called Dalton. it last week. I said, Dalton will move into the upper echelon after week two. Now, I hope he enjoys his 15 seconds of fame because as soon as Michael Thomas comes back from injury, my team is back to being unstoppable. Other things that we saw from week two, CPU put up 188 points. It's tough to beat a computer. Have you ever seen any sci-fi movie ever? This is inevitably what happens. The computer becomes smarter than the man who made it and we get destroyed by it. And I think that's what we're seeing. Tom, but you're a big sci-fi guy. You could have seen this coming from miles away. Yeah, Space Odyssey, man. Did you ever see Space Odyssey? What's that show called? Or movie called? Uh, Space Odyssey. Talking? I think you're, you're no, thinking no. of Wally. Never mind. It was, it was a good movie before you were born. That was during the Star Trek. Era. That was the, the week two recap uh, brought to you by the boys. Tom, I know it's been a while since you've last won the league. Do you think you'll ever win again? Seeing how I had the 13th pick and then the 45th and 47th pick, I would expect to be last. I would expect to have the worst team. But, oh, no, that is not true. Harry Carp has, <laughs> has assumed that position. I it's didn't only think you could have a worse team than me, but you proved them wrong. Um, okay, next question. Do you regret trading your future first round pick last year to Will? I do not because I had the team and the horses last year to win. I made a bad GM decision and I lost and I'm paying the price for it now. But it doesn't matter. I'm still better than you. Would you come in fifth? I mean, when you got a chance to win it all, you got to go for it. I, I respect the decision, Tom. <laughs> first place or nothing. You have just so many bad players. Uh, <laughs> who's the who's the worst guy on your team? Well, I just picked up oh. Chris Hogan, so let's see. He's a lacrosse player, Tom. Monday night football, Jared Cook, he lost you the game. Do you have any words for him that can get him going this week? How do you pick a guy up like that? You know what? I, I blame it on Drew Brees. I mean, he was flat. He did not play well. Throw him the ball, man. <laughs> he scored a touchdown for you early in the game. Throw it back to him. Oh, don't don't throw it to him with 10 seconds left in the game. <laughs> and I need another six yards for another point, <laughs> which I lost by. Idiot. That would have been Tom, two and zero oh for Tom. Yeah, Connor, two and zero. Oh. Look it up, right. Mr. Zero and two. I have one more question. Why are you such an asshole to everybody? I'm in the a hole division. I got stuck in there with a bunch <laughs> of yahoos from the Midwest, who knows where, five eight five two six two, whoever they are, and a computer. That's my division. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. The division just, like, auto-moved. Auto-named also, I'm assuming. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. 
Yahoo's got getting wild with these names. Quick picks coming up. Predictions for this week. What do you guys see? Myself versus Pimp with the Limp. I'm liking the scrub in this game. You know, Jared Allen and the Rams. I see a high scoring affair. I think Jared Allen's going to do very well, actually. You know, he got 14 points already from Gaskin from Miami. I think he's got a better better team than Pimp with the Limp. Yeah, I have to agree. I'm going to go Willie Moe, unfortunately. I'm taking myself. Both of these teams suck. I know Carol and I know Tom Helvig. Pretty smart people. <laughs> I don't know what happened to Connor when he went to freaking Georgia or Alabama. Mississippi. Or whatever. He, wherever he went for two years, I think he left part of his brain there because his team sucks. I think he lost his mind when he went to Wisconsin and started to <laughs> count with all those different area codes. And all, all these a-holes with area codes. They're a bunch of knuckleheads. Tom, I'll tell you what, it's freezing here in Wisconsin. My nipples are chafed. I don't know how you expect me to maintain a solid brain. That being said, Kamish gets his first win of the week. Have you seen $10 Zoom Sexy Times team? It's somehow worse than mine. I don't believe it. I'm going to take the commissioner in this one. Commissioner gets his first win over a horrible Zoom Sexy Time team. <laughs> That asshole Isis beat me by one point, and I'm pissed. <laughs> but he's got a really good team. I, I'm liking Isis in this game. Sure, he's the back-to-back -back champ, and even though he claims he hates PPR, it's the only thing he's good at. He abuses the system. Isis wins on Monday Night Football with a big game from Lamar Jackson. Okay, so you came up with the same pick as I did. <laughs> yeah, he, he said, Tom, horrible pick. That being said, I agree. It's going to come down to Monday Night. Mahomes versus Lamar. I don't know why the hell Big Richard is starting the Chiefs defense. Sucks. That and the McCaffrey injury both. Ugh. I think ISIS has a lot of question marks, though. And can you count on Ingram? Deion Lewis? Joe Mixon? Oh. oh, he's a question mark. question mark. T.Y. Hilton? Question mark. I think I'm going to go ISIS. I think Diggs, Cooper, and Jones is just yeah. really good. Yeah, I agree. Give me the robot. This team's a machine right now. King of the North. Kittle just got ruled out, so GG. Gronk or someone else with hopefully working limbs. Yeah, Gronk might as well be a right tackle this year. I hate agreeing with both of you, but I don't see any way he can beat the computer. I've listened to enough Joe Rogan to know that we'll be wiped off the earth by robots in 2029. <laughs> you know, what, what I, the thing I would say about CPU is let's see whoever runs that team is going to be able to adjust. Well, Frank's an a-hole, so I hope he loses. You know, I carry some bad blood with Frank because of uh, I won one year and he was supposed to get a tattoo. Never <laughs> happened. But he beat me to it. He's already got bad tattoos. So, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> he punished himself. Way to go, Frank. I could have paid for it. But no, he paid for his Frank, own bad tattoo. Frank's going 0-3. Sorry. Dalton, number one in power rankings is not losing to Frank. I do think that right now Dalton has the hottest team in the league. I'll go Dalton. Can Tom win again? Good Lord. He's only projected 129 points. I don't think Tom's going to win this week. I don't know if you've watched that Valdez Scantling play before, but that guy can't catch a cold, let alone 10 points going Georgia. Tom, Baltimore defense against Patrick Mahomes this week? <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Two tight ends from Tom this week. I like it. Yeah, I should have left him in last week. That's the only way to beat ISIS is two tight ends. We talked about this on the show. You starting Ronald Jones, relying on him in a running back position, for that reason, I'm out. You guys are a bunch of quitters. But, um, <laughs> you know, this Georgia Smith guy, Carson Wentz? Yeah. he Connor Helvick could score more points He's a backwards hat kind of guy. He's a backwards hat kind of guy like Will, not, not my quarterback. No, I'm liking the Scrubs to win this game. Oh. Mark this down. Mark this Upset down. Alert. Scrubs are going right to win. Uh, I wish we all had logos. I would wear, like, the mascot head. Like, Lee Corp. Oh, like, I'm going to the Scrubs. <laughs> <laughs> all right, just real quick, I'm going to say, just be checking the message boards. I'm going to be putting trade block stuff on there. My whole team might be on the block. Stay tuned. Just keep checking it.
power rankings are going to be up every week. That's all. Connor, I am so good with your power rankings being last every week. I, I am I am okay with that. So when it's the end of the moment. season comes and I finish fifth and Connor is 12th, I'm still going to be last because the commissioner is a crook. Who do you think should be last? Me. The one that swims with the fishes, Terry Karp. He is a loser. <laughs> Tying an anchor to I'm going to get a win. Tom, we're going to tie the bottom this of the week. Lakes. Apparently, this, that movie, what was it, The Minions? I didn't know they, what they were capable of. I haven't seen it. But. What's the matter with that guy? <laughs> <laughs>